Your Humanities Half Hour is brought to you by the Northern Marianas Humanities Council. Welcome to Your Humanities Half Hour. I'm Catherine Perry, and today we have a holiday treat from Friends of the Arts. It's my pleasure to welcome to studio the president of the Friends of the Arts, Susan Fishman Tudor, and also board member Harold Easton. Susan, Harold, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So excited about today. Haven't seen you guys here in the studio for a while, but you have another play coming up, and we're so happy to have you come in and share some of that with us. But Susan, we haven't seen you. Welcome back to Saipan. Thank you. It's really good to be back. Uh, I was away for almost two years, and it's uh, a pleasure to be back doing the things that I love to do on Saipan. Yeah, she, she resigned before she left. We refused to accept the resignation letter. <laughs> <laughs> so when she came back, we said we just simply said, welcome back, President. And she said, but, but I left. And they said, yeah, you resigned, that's right, but we didn't accept the resignation, so therefore you're still president. Well, they didn't accept my resignation as being president because nobody else wants to (laughs) do this job. (laughs) Now, you guys have been working together on Friends of the Arts forever. I arrived on Saipan in 1998. Harold was already here, and there was an audition notice. I went to the audition and it's been an an active friendship Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, communication for since then you know anybody who has um been to one of your rehearsals and i have haven't been actually been in a play but my son has knows uh really how tight you guys are as a team whether it's the production um uh, the production crew or the kids even coming up through the high school that you work with Harold or or the old timers that come back play after play after play mm-hmm. until they either move off island or <laughs> but um, or die. yeah yeah <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost like family dare I say well it, it is it is a fa- family it's a theater family and um, there have been many graduating classes who graduated from high school thinking that Mr. Easton and I were husband and wife <laughs> because we would argue so vehemently and then be relatively copacetic and go on with the show and do everything that needed to be done it within minutes. And yeah, they thought it was uh, a wonderful, and it is, a wonderful relationship and uh, and goes on for a couple of years. And yeah. you've had a lot of successes with all the plays you've put on. And we do want to talk uh, more about Friends of the Arts later on, but let's start off with your upcoming play for the holiday season. You always have something on the burner for the holidays. What is it this year? Uh, it, it is um, <laughs> a version <laughs> of Dickens' Christmas Carol. It is, Harold, would you take it away? Sure. (laughs) The Farndale Avenue Housing Estate Townswoman's Guild Dramatic Society's production of A Christmas Carol. Now say that in like you normally say it like three times faster. (laughs) <laughs> sure. The Farndale Avenue Housing Estates Townswoman's Grill Dramatic Society's production of A Christmas Carol. Yes, okay. that, that would be Harold's presentation. That's yes. a very long title. Tell us about the play a little bit more briefly. Okay, well, I, well I'll just tell you that Farndale Avenue Housing Estate Townswomen's Guild Dramatic Society type of shows are a an established group of kinds of plays. Oh, really? They have a um, visitor from outer space. They have a haunted house. I believe they have a, a Romeo and Juliet, actually. And in their shows, they show the worst side of amateur theater. <laughs> and whatever you expect go- going to the theater, whatever can go wrong will go wrong in their shows. So are you saying that if people want to see a really bad play, they should come to this one? 
Uh, well done, <laughs> really. <laughs> yes. This is a very well done bad play. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's really it's really quite funny. We it's, have a, we have a lot of fun with it. It's t- it's an excellent <clears throat> script. And um, Dickens, of course, wrote an excellent show here. He, he was a uh, writer in the 1800s and he, novels and many novels. And um, he used as characters and characterizations the undertrodden or the downtrodden and the, the poverty-stricken people in, in the world of, of his age. And he brought in new readers to literature uh, with, the, with the Pickwick Papers were part of his original writings that were d- printed daily in um, daily magazines and weekly magazines. Mm. I think a nice way to summarize it might be to say A Christmas Carol with a Comedic Twist. Yes, I, uh, as I said in my president's note, um, Dickens brought the spiritual elements to the hearth of uh, uh, your home, and we present it and while well, we tickle the funny bone. Mm. <laughs> well, you guys are going to do the, our uh, reading for us today, but there are actually a number of people involved. Who yes. else is, is on the, the cast? Well, it's a relatively small cast. Um, Scrooge is, uh, and all the people that I mention as their characters um, will, will be their character names coming in as the Farnsdale Women's Guild. And Thelma is Sarah Freiling. Mrs. Um, Mrs. Reese is Barbara Scher. Mercedes is Nicole Weingartner. Felicity is Katie Hoyt. And Gordon, a unwitting member of our of the cast, is returning actor extraordinaire Chuck Sayon. Chuck Sayon. Chuck Sayon has. Chuck Sayon's <laughs> back. Yes. Well, he's back for the show. I think he's <laughs> he's in transit most of the time, but he had had agreed to do this show, and he is definitely a trooper, and will be is here for. Th- so, um, uh, we want to hear an excerpt for the show, but first of all, give us the details on when and where it's going to be. Harold, would you like me? Sure. Uh, well, it's it's <coughs> going to be performed in the the theater, the museum theater at American Memorial Park on s- Friday night, the 15th, Saturday, the 16th, and Sunday, the 17th at 7 o'clock. Um, Friends of the Arts has tr- traditionally done at least one free show for the uh, Christmas season. And, well, I free, I'll, I'll change that. Free, we, we ask for Friday night's show to be donation of dry goods only. Oh, that's right. And these, do that. these will be distributed between the Salvation Army, Army and possibly Guma Esperanza. So mm-hmm. if you're coming on Friday in lieu of a ticket, yes. or, you know, uh, I'm sure you would accept the cost of a ticket, but definitely bring some canned goods to be donated. To, to be donated. Yes. That's nice. And the, the thing that's, re- that's really important on that yeah. uh, is it, it, it has to be in a sealed, it has to be a sealed product. It can't be like half a can of this or a half a, half a bag. <laughs> well, some people, some people would, would, would like to bring like a half a bag of rice, and, and I can understand why they would want to do that. Yes. Uh, except that it can't be accepted. Okay. Because mm-hmm. anything that's been unsealed. opened yes. uh, is, is not allowed to be redistributed. So... Uh, people need to kind of keep that in mind. Okay, and our tickets are available at the front desk of Bridge Capital, and every member who I've mentioned previously will will have tickets for sale. Um, When you come to the park, it will be given as a donation to Friends of the Arts um, on on, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, we don't sell tickets actually at the park. You will put your donate your donation in a jar. Jar. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. That's right. Federal donation. And yes. Don't donate. Be prepared to donate. No pressure. <laughs> <coughs> we live on a small island. We know where you live. Yes. All right. We got that. 
Jenkins. So you have a selection for us, and uh, Harold, you are the line producer, producer for this show, so I'll let you direct where we go from here. Okay, uh, this is a, a cutting, and it's the scene where Scrooge is confronted by his partner, or former partner, the long-dead Jacob Marley. Ghosts. Humbug. I shall prepare for bed. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a relief. It was just two cats fighting. <sighs> to bed I go. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, there it is again! That spectral moan, and yet I can see nothing! But wait! A ghastly apparition appears, and it approaches my bed! Um, <clears throat> I, I, I got a problem. I, I, I stuck my head through the door. I, I, I'm stuck. I can't get unloosed. Oh, I don't believe no, it. No, honest, it's jammed tight. Look, I'm trying to get my head out, and I can't. What do you want? What do you want from me? Well, if you can just hold the door frame <clears throat> so I can pull my head. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <clears throat> I, I see what you want. <clears throat> Much. Who are you? Ask me who you were. Not who you were. Uh. Ask me who I were. Not ask me who I was. Who was you? I don't ask me. You want me to ask you. Yes. I want you to ask me who you was. No, 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 no. Your line is ask me who I was. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Ask me who I was. Who were you? You said it was ask me who I was. It was. Well, what is it now? <laughs> it hasn't changed. It's still the same? Yes. Oh, that's a relief. Um... Are you going to tell me then? Tell you what? Who you were! Well, I'm not the man I was. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Just concentrate, will you? You say, ask me who I was. I say, who were you? And you tell me. I tell you what? Who you were! Sorry. Who I was when? <gasps> Who you were? That's not even English. But you wanted to know. I didn't want to know. Who I were when? I wanted to know who you were. You just tell me your what your name is. You know my name. I'm Gordon Pugh. So... <clears throat> In life, you were my partner, Jacob Marley. Oh, 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 him. Yeah, 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 yes. I was him. <sighs> can you sit down? I can. Give it, then. Um, the door won't let me sit. I'm sorry. I, I prefer to stand, actually. <sighs> Can you take that thing off? No, I told you, I'm stuck. You're showing me up. Who do you think you are? You mean, who do I think I am now rather than when I was you know who? What is he on about? Oh, I just want to get it clear in my own mind what I'm supposed to say. I do not believe you. You, uh, <clears throat> you are but a bit of undigested. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
What evidence of my existence do you require? Mm, come closer, Jacob. Reach forth a spectral hand. Ooh, yes, uh, I seem to sense something intangible. Whoa. Uh, okay, off. I am doomed to wander through the world, witnessing the happiness I cannot share. You are fettered. Why? I wear the chains I forged in life, and I am come to warn you that you will share my fate unless... Whoa. Don't, don't. Gordon, don't do that. Sorry. Un <clears throat> unless what? Speak comfort to me, Jacob. Tell me how I can avoid your pitiful penance. You will be haunted by three spirits. Expect the first when the bell tolls one. Whoa. I told you to stop that. Now, stop it. Come on. Get on with it. You told me to stop. Not your lines, you fool. Say your next line. I can't. Say your next line. Okay. Whoa! Right. That's it. I'm not acting with him anymore. No, no, this man is a sadist. He's mad, a completely mad, and I'm not working with a mad sadist. <laughs> I wanted to wear my sleeveless blouse. <laughs> mm. Well, we're in studio with Scrooge and uh, Jacob Marley, also known as Susan Fishman Tudor and Harold Easton. And they are presenting an excerpt from, let me try to say it, the Farmdale Avenue Housing Estate Towns Women's Guild Dramatic Society's production of A Christmas Carol. Yes? Mm, Very close. good. You're hired. <laughs> Give you us again. Radio. Yes. Good. How did you know? Yes. Give us again the dates and times and place. It'll be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 7 p.m. at the Museum Theater at American Memorial Park. Did you know that you can donate up to $5,000 to the Humanities Council through the CNMI Education Tax Credit Program? Donations from individuals and corporations qualify and can be used to offset your local wage and salary tax, BGRT, and earnings tax. Call our office at 235-4785 to see how you can support humanities programs in our community and obtain a tax credit for your donation. Sizu Usma'asi, Olomai, and thank you. Welcome back to Your Humanities Half Hour. Where we are with Susan Fishman Tudor, the president of Friends of the Arts and board member Harold Easton. Um, Tell us a little bit more for those that are not aware of Friends, what Friends of the Arts is all about and really the scope of the many things that you guys do in a year. Mm, okay. Do we have enough time for that? We might not have enough time. <laughs> we can give it a shot. <laughs> we can give it a shot. Yeah, I'll start off with a, a little bit of the history uh, as what I know of it. I can't tell you the exact um, date of its inception, but it has been several different um, title, title has had several different titles over the years. But it did start about in the, in the 70s. And at the time, it was uh, started uh, as Sunday salons, which with talented people doing um, performances for talent for other talented people who, to enjoy on Sunday in personal settings. Then they got into doing a Broadway show at least once a year, and then usually a musical for several years. And when I arrived in, in 1998. Friends of the Arts or the Music Society or Saipan Little Theater, the three morphologies before me, uh, had not been doing anything for about three or four years. So it was decided to change the title to Friends of the Arts, and I've been an active member ever since. 
um, this portion of the, gr the group Mr. Easton was a founding member of. And we got to a point where we were doing at least four major theatrical productions a year. Mm -hmm. And it w very strenuously we were doing these. It was very time consuming. Each show takes about six weeks of, of rehearsal time. And there was a, a period of time for a couple of years we tried to get in just uh, children under elementary school and pe uh, performers under 13 years old. Those were the junior Broadway shows, Into the Woods. Um, once Upon a Mattress, and there was something else. Um, financially, they were not feasible. And we've been plugging along, and for the past maybe six years, I would say, and again, I've been gone for two, we have been more of an outreach to the high school theatrical performers. We have in, in elicited auditions from all of the high schools and with the help of Paul DeHua and Mr. Easton, we had, had a wonderful choral ensemble, the Glee Club, and now we still try to maintain at least three to four major theatrical performances a year. Harold, of course, you're very instrumental with the Marianas High School Theater Club, who's doing great work. Um, how much of uh, what they do is tied with these productions that Friends of the Arts puts on? Well, the, the theory is um, high school kids working with high school kids is a very good idea. They love to hang out. <laughs> yeah, but it's also a good idea for high school kids to work with adults. That's just part of growing up. So... And the demands, of course, are different. Uh, the perceptions of what they, the perceptions of what they do, are different. So it's a really good experience for them. Um, and right now, for example, on this show, we have a couple of our, a couple of the thespian students are doing working on costumes. Uh, John Liu, who's uh, working with Mr. Ayapuzzo on scenic design, he's um, he's a, he's taking some of his scenic design is taking some of his scenic design work and uh, helping us out in this show as well repainting some of the old flats and doing some new stuff uh, the a young lady who's competing in theater marketing who also also works at mr. Ayapuzzo over in uh, video production uh, Carrie is uh, Carrie is working on the uh, marketing for the show along with mr. Gibson so it becomes a, a partnership with the students with students and adults working together to try to put on the show. Uh, and they are, of course, very talented. Most of them compete at the national level. So they are they, they know their business um, and they do a very good job. Uh, and it's good, but it's, but it's good for them to, to have to look at it from the, from the adult perspective rather than just looking at it from the high school perspective. And of course, since uh, Marianas High School has now provided me a, a performing arts space uh, to do my program, my classroom program, we now have places for students to rehearse. Uh, right now, the Dolphin Band is rehearsing for their concert next week. Um, the Friends of the Arts is rehearsing in there. It's, it becomes um, um, it becomes a very useful kind of 24/7 place for people to function, which is very helpful as well. Let's talk a little bit about membership, uh, mm -hmm. Susan. You mentioned that. Um, you're getting ready to vote on your spring musical, and you haven't voted yet, so now would be a great <laughs> time to become a member, so your vote will count. Yes, actually, we had a general membership meeting at uh, the, what was it, the Everest Restaurant. It was very good turnout, and we got feedback on three different musicals. But we're p still planning to have a musical for as our spring production, and we had Sound of Music, Tarzan, and was that Into the Woods? And Into the Woods. And we had the same number of votes on, on 
each <laughs> we need a tiebreaker <laughs> yes, yeah. or several so, tiebreakers so the, it's the the board will be the deciding tiebreaking vote and we will have a a, a membership uh, a meeting and i have to say something for, about the board we have new members and we have old members who f for years have done the work of several and tireless efforts from everyone involved. They, most of the shows include one or more of our, the board members and the treasury and the marketing and everything that needs to be done. The production, Friends of the Arts is the producer of all of these shows and one of us is designated as the executive or w the, is the executive producer and one of us is designated as the producer and um, it's it's a real labor of love to do that. Membership is $20 a year starting from when you sign up and that's an individual membership and $25 a year for a, a family, which includes two adults and two, two children. Let's talk real briefly or real quickly about your regular feature, with, which is a pianist. I can't remember his name, but he's been a regular now here on the island. Is he coming next year? He'll be coming back in February. He will, we know that he will be here for the week of Valentine's Day. That's February 14th. We're not sure if he's going to be here for another week before that or after that, but we hope to have him here for at least two weeks. And what's his name again? Roman Rudnitsky. Yes, yes. that's exactly <laughs> yes. what I was going to yes, say. Yes, I might. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, he does a magnificent job in his performances, but he's a consummate performer and loves to teach. And if there is a school who would like to have him come for a mm, tutorial to the, the entire school or just a few, you can reach me at my cell phone. That would be 287-2225. One more time? 287-2225. Very I, good. I will just put that on his docket, and we will try to slot it in for the, his time that he, he makes to be here. He does a Pacific Rim tour about that time. He is um, had been coming so, to be a um, judge at the Tuman Bay Music Festival. I think he's involved with another concert there this year that is not in conjunction with the festival. All right. Well, I want to thank you both for making time to come in today, share with us a little uh, preview of the play. Any final thoughts before you go? And give us the play details one more time. The, okay. the Farndale Avenue Heis Housing Estate Towns Women's Guild Dramatic Society's production of A Christmas Carol. <laughs> that will be... Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 15th, 16th, and 17th at the American Memorial Park Museum Theater at 7 o'clock. Friday night is donation of dry goods and canned goods only, and um, Saturday and Sunday will be a financial donation of, I believe, eight dollars per for adult and i'm not sure about the children's price i'm <laughs> sorry probably less than well, adult. less suggested than donations I, believe it's eight, I think it's eight six and four eight six and oh for members it's six and yeah, four the, well they have the thespian kids uh, yeah, yeah thespian yeah mm -hmm. very special donation yes. suggested yes. donation <laughs> prizes harold any final thoughts before we go i just hope some I hope, hope a lot of people come it's really a lot of fun uh, it's crazy, and it it's sounds just, like it. It's it's Christmas, and sometimes it's fun to have a little crazy over Christmas. Yeah, yeah. 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 A little crazy over Christmas is good. Yeah, this is and this this time in in our society, uh, we could use a little fun. Yes. <laughs> we could use a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of fun. <laughs> well, we offer it. So. <laughs>
<laughs> Just there for your entertainment. Again, our guests today have been Susan Fishman Tudor, the president of Friends of the Arts, and Harold Easton, board member. Thank you so much, guys, and happy holidays. And Merry Christmas and to you. Thank you. Yeah. Merry Christmas to us all. God Th- bless us. This <laughs> has been Your Humanities Half Hour. I'm Katherine Perry. This program was supported by a We the People grant awarded to the Northern Marianas Humanities Council from the National Endowment for the Humanities. Any views, findings, conclusions, or recommendations expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily represent those of the National Endowment for the Humanities or the Northern Marianas Humanities Council.